Engage them. Quote them. Follow them. Listen. Open minds. I first met her when she joined the ANC. She and her then husband, Wilhelm Verwurt, decided to break ranks with the Africana tribe, if one may put it that way, and join the ANC. It was a big story at the time when a member of the Verwurt family joined the ANC. Oh, hello. Challenge. <laughs> Dear Milani, you have been cordially invited to take part in the Friday Standing Challenge. Whoa, three hours of the Ready Clubby Show. Hmm. Okay, I accept the challenge. And Milani's great strength is that she is very articulate. I just want to remind myself that we are talking about reimagining Afrikaner identity. What is Afrikaner identity? What is it? She expresses herself in a way that people who are not deeply involved in politics can easily understand. This is a complex subject because people are complex, identities are complex. She's very, very clear, doesn't get lost in complexities, which I think too many analysts do. I am Melanie Favort. I'm a former politician, a former diplomat, and I was also involved with UNICEF for quite a long time. And now what I do mostly is I write uh, for newspapers and I do political analysis. People are saying they are hurting because of what happened in the past and what continues to happen at the moment. Today I'm here at WITS um, talking about, of all things, reimagining Afrikaner identity, race, cultural difference. Um, also, when you carry a surname like Favort, obviously this is something that features in your life very big. You know, my work for me is, is a calling always. I just want to do work that I feel is meaningful. And so for me, it's always been to make a difference in whatever small way I can. I did a tiny bit of broadcasting while I was living in Ireland and had a show, a one hour show, but it was pre-recorded and we didn't have call-ins like, like Ready Show. Um, so I'm very conscious of what a monster of a show, a three hour live show is, and particularly when you've got the unpredictability of callers. For me as a journalist, I find her a very, very useful sounding board. And I think she's going to be a wonderful broadcaster. No, I think if I'm going on radio, I should take the midnight slot where nobody except the prisoners are actually listening to you because I think nobody else will listen, which would be good. <laughs> Once it goes green, it's in it's here, in it's here, live, it's on it's air. And when it's flashing like that, you know this is the next one That's the one one should take. You know, the thing that makes me most nervous is most probably the technical stuff, like buttons and screens and communications. Not so much the talking bit, but that worries me. Standing in for Ridi Tabi. The Friday Stand-In. Hashtag Friday Stand-In.